Hello and welcome to a beginner's guide to Photoshop Elements 9 in association with FreePhotoshop.com. My name's Matt Whiting, and over the next 10 hours, I'm going to show you how to use this amazing piece of software. If you're a beginner and you've never used Elements before, then you'll be pleased to know we start off every topic as if it's the first time we're opening the software. If you're an existing user, maybe someone who's played around a bit but wants to get serious, then I've got loads of tips, tricks and techniques that will improve your experience. If you're an established user who wants to cement their knowledge and understanding, then I offer you professional workflows and tried and tested ways to get the job done. Whichever bracket you fall into, I promise you'll find this course worthwhile. I've planned it specifically to start off with the basics and build up in complexity one step at a time. Whether you want somewhere to organize your photographs, make changes to drab, washed out and lifeless images, or create posters by combining multiple photos with text and special effects, this course is going to kickstart your ability and creativity. Now I like to think of Photoshop Elements 9 as free applications. We have the organizer where we import, showcase and organize our photographs. We have a guided and quick edit mode which makes it possible to color correct and perform quick basic adjustments on many images at a time. And we have the full edit mode where your imagination is the only boundary. These free modes combine to make one program, but thinking of them as free will help you understand how things work and how the series is organized. So before we make a start, allow me to go through some of the need to know stuff relating to the course. Firstly, if you have any problems associated with the course, anything you're not sure about, you just need to ask. You can either fire a question at me at the forums at freephotoshop.com or you can email me directly using the address admin at freephotoshop.com. You can also contact me on our Facebook or Twitter pages. Secondly, all the project files are available from the DVD if you purchase the DVD, or the application itself if you purchase the download. I've made them all available so you can follow along with me throughout the course. However, if you prefer not to, then you can just watch what I'm doing on screen. No problems with either of those options. Finally, I'm recording these videos inside a 1024 by 768 screen capture area. Your screen is likely to be larger than mine is, and if it is, then I'd certainly recommend that you take full advantage of the size. I'm going to be using Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit as my operating system, but if you're more accustomed to the Mac, then you'll be pleased to know I also reference Mac shortcuts and menu items as we progress through the course. That's the introduction out of the way. It's now time to begin our exploration of the software, starting in the next video, where we'll take a look at the welcome screen.